guys, welcome back to day 27 of praying for your future husband. Can't believe we're at day 27. So many days of praying and it has been awesome every step of the way. Today we are praying that God is preparing his heart. And our scripture for today is Ephesians 5, 22 through 28. I'll read that. Wife, submit yourselves to your own husband as you do to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church, his body of which he is the savior. Now as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit to their husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her, to make her holy, cleansing her by washing with water through the word, and to present her to himself as a radiant church without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish, but holy and blameless. In the same way, husbands ought to love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. Let's pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for my future husband. I pray you would give me patience as I await the day we are united as one. Until that joyous moment comes, please prepare my future husband's heart for our marriage. I pray you would shape him into the husband you created him to be. I pray you would have a profound understanding of what it means to be a husband and how you desire him to fulfill that role. May he be eager to love me like you love. May he lead me as you have called him to. Make him strong and make him wise. I pray he would know you well and know your word well. I pray he would live his life according to your ways and that his life is a strong testimony of who you are. I pray he is honored and respected by others. I pray he would have a heart to serve others. Most of all, I pray his heart is surrendered to you in every way. I pray he trusts you confidently. I pray he would be a man of integrity. May he be slow to become angry. I pray that the fruits of the Spirit are evident in his life. Prepare his heart for oneness. We both have been living for ourselves, which is something that I know will change when we marry. Help us both to be willing to live together in harmony, looking out for each other, and living in an understanding way. I pray his heart would be excited about marriage and the gift of oneness we will share. In Jesus' name, amen. I love getting closer to the end of this book because it's getting, you know, it's getting serious, especially if you feel like you're close to meeting the person. Um, I'm loving that we're getting so close to like preparing for marriage uh, in our prayers. So um, loving this, hope you guys are too. Um, something that I think would be awesome for you to do today is um, is to pray this over yourself. These exact words that you just prayed over your future husband, pray them over yourself. So I'll just read a little part of how I would do that. Um, Lord, thank you for my future husband. I pray you would give him patience as we await the day we are united as one. Until that joyous moment comes, please prepare my heart for our marriage. I pray you would shape me into the wife you created me to be. I pray I would have a profound understanding of what it means to be a wife and how you desire me to fulfill that role. May I be eager to love him like you love and just keep going. I think that it's really beautiful to pray that over yourself today. Um, also, like if you guys are the silent watchers, I know you're there. How about you leave a comment today? I'm gonna be responding to comments and would love um, to get to know you a little bit more. I'm getting to know so many people in the comments. So leave a comment and I'll respond and hopefully that'll be our first of many connections. But really thankful for you guys and I can't wait to see you guys again tomorrow for day 28. We are flying through this thing. See you tomorrow.